Let's get into 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits or wandering spirits and the doctrines of the demons. Demonology is a very serious topic. Whenever any one of us in the body of Christ decides to bring up this topic, it is always best to approach the throne of grace first for his guidance and protection. This subject is something that the demons don't want me to talk about. They don't want me to let you know what I think about them and their activities. And for quite some time, without me knowing it, I have been entertaining them. And many believers within the body are also entertaining them as we speak. Many of us have our own personal backpacks filled with habits, choices, and other things. And within our hearts, we feel that there's nothing wrong with what we're doing because we're not really bothering no one. And when you get to that point in your life as a believer, there's something very wrong with that picture because if you are practicing evil and you don't really see it, that means that throughout your Christian walk, the Holy Spirit warned you about it, but you silenced the Holy Spirit with your, uh, with your turning away from him. You know what I'm saying? It's like every time the Holy Spirit said no, you just turned away and you thought to yourself, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, God. You know, we tend to argue with God. Yes, we tend to argue with him. And after a while, when you continue to respond to God that way, eventually his voice is going to decrease. You know, in the beginning, it was no. And then as time went by, it, it, that no became no. And then you probably got to that point where you don't even hear the Holy Spirit anymore. And when you get to that point, that is not good at all. And that is one of the methods from the demons. They have a huge list of methodologies. And as we speak right now, speaking for myself, God has been showing me some stuff. And I'm saying to myself, while I didn't know that I was actually partying with them in this area and in that area and over there and behind me i didn't know these things and and in in the interesting thing is that you know the lord from the bible is so merciful with his with his children he loves us so much that he is willing to wait you see what i'm saying until we come around and and and, and then open the door for him to come in so that he can clean up our lives you see that is how loving he is and he is extremely patient so guys listen the demons are loose they're 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 out here and and they, you know they have the lost souls exactly where they want they're more concerned with us because we are the light of the world. We are a huge threat to them and their plans. Why do you think all of this chaos is going on in America, especially in America, where you have this culture, you know, this culture war happening and, and, and all these differences of opinion? Nowadays, you cannot even express an opinion. And I believe that, a, you know, I believe that the demonic influence has penetrated the hearts of those who are not willing to, you know, face the light of Christ. These are people that 
you know, they just don't want nothing to do with Jesus Christ. They don't want him at all. They hate him. And every time they think of him, they just, you know, they get so angry, you see. And then they take their anger out on us, his followers. And where all of this is coming from, this is coming from the demonic realm. You know, there's a lot of stuff happening. And people are not aware of it. In closing, I have to bring up this actor. I think his name is Chris Pat or Chris Bratt. Forgive me uh, if I'm mispronouncing his name. He is the guy who plays as Star Lord for Guardians of the Galaxy. And uh, he recently came out in a, in a movie called Onward. And the movie is about magic and stuff like that. And his character loves magic, the character that, that he's playing as. And this is a man who claimed to be a follower of Yeshua. He appeared on stage not too long ago telling the audience, you know, talking to the audience about God. And I'm saying to myself, wait a minute. This man claims to be a Christian. And then at the same time, he's participating in a movie based upon magic and sorcery. You know, my point is this. I'm not judging the man. I am judging the fruit. And what I'm judging is the fact that this man doesn't see how wrong this is. And that is how slick the devil is. The devil is able to just plant those types of seeds in the minds of believers. And believers would just eat it up and they would, you know, walk away from that experience thinking that it's okay. They think that there's nothing wrong with it. And there are a lot of believers like Chris Pat that they claim to be followers. But they're not really following. You see what I'm saying? And when we get to that place, we really need to run, not walk, but run to the throne, to where the Lord is. And, you know, ask him, please, Lord, peel away the layers, expose my life, show me me, so that I can become the person that you want me to be. This is the Preacher Man signing out. May the Lord Yeshua Moshiach bless you all and your families. And in Yeshua's holy name, I say.